Hi, I'm Mary Beth Quinn, and I'm here today to talk about three ways that you can change it up and get different results with your work. They're simple ways. And I'm gonna show you these paintings that I was working on recently because they're a perfect example. They're actually paintings that I was using as a practice run for a class that I'm getting ready to put out on, um, it's an introduction to collage class. And these paintings I had started just to see if it was the format that I wanted to use. And then I set them aside and recorded the class and now that's all done. And I picked them up the other day and I just started working on them. That's why we're sort of starting uh, with something already on the page. But um, I thought it was a really good example of three simple ways that you can really change up your work, maybe get unstuck or just push it a little bit further or help yourself learn some new things. Um, I'm gonna slow down the video here in just a second so you can actually see what I'm doing. But the first thing that I wanted to suggest as a way to change up your work and, and really get different results. The first thing is paint on paper if you don't already. I think painting on paper, especially when you sort of pick up scraps of paper, like these sort of were. They were just test papers that I, were, I was using to find out how I wanted to do my class. So paper is so expendable. It's not expensive. It just doesn't seem serious. I mean, as you can see, the way these are cut, they're not even, you know, they're not even symmetrical the way that they're cut. And it just feels very low risk. I mean, at any time I could just tear these up or throw these away and I've lost nothing but my time. And really that's never lost either because I'm always learning something. But paper just feels so low pressure. I love to paint on paper for many reasons, but this is one of the main reasons. I have been bolder and tried more new things on paper than I have ever done on a wood panel or a piece of canvas. It just feels so forgiving and so easy, uh, so low risk. It's just easy. So that's my first suggestion. Uh, work on paper and work on small paper. Small paper like this even feels lower risk. So sometimes I just have to psych my own brain out, right? If I get all wadded up and, and nervous and feeling like there's too much at stake, I'll just sort of freeze up and not be able to do anything. But if I get these small pieces of paper, who cares? I'm just doodling and I'm just playing and trying new things. So small paper is the first one. The second one is to tell yourself you're just practicing. This is just practice. If you're like me, then you might be one of those people that's inclined that every time you sit down to paint, this has to be a major painting. Like this has to be a wonderful painting. And the expectation on those outcomes can be crippling sometimes. But if instead, from the very start, you have a playful attitude of like, let's just see what happens. I'm just playing here. There's nothing serious going on. I'm just gonna see what I can come up with. Then if I have that attitude going into it, I am much, more inclined to try new things, to be bolder, to even, even think. It's not even about just trying new things. I will actually think of new things where I wouldn't in a more high pressure situation or what I felt like was high pressure. 
I mean, really, is it ever high pressure? You can always paint over things, but if you're like me, you, you can get in that mentality of feeling like, you know, you can't try things. And on these small pieces of paper, you can just make them practice pieces. And I really talk a lot about this in my class. When you can stay in experimental mode a long time, when you can stay there the longest and really just keep yourself from getting too attached, keep yourself from thinking that this is something serious or that you have designs on this, when you can stay in experimental mode or in play mode as long as possible, you'll get better results. It's, I've, I've done it hundreds of times, proven this to myself, that if I can stay in low stakes mode, in practice mode, I'll get better results. And by the time that it's going so well and I love it and I finally go, wow, this is really turning into a great painting. I mean, I like this painting. By then, I'm so confident and free that I'm not at risk of getting locked up anymore. I've already made all the bold moves. That's why I'm loving it at this point. So that was really what was happening here. I was just painting these for fun. I needed a break from working on this class and being at a desk all day, I needed to just sit down and do what I love and have no designs on it whatsoever. And I did, and I really, really liked the results. And I think a lot of it was because no pressure, right? And then the last suggestion that I have is to do two pieces side by side, just like this two small pieces of paper, you stay in practice mode, and you work side by side like this. If you'll notice, I've been a lot of times picking up a certain color of collage paper, and I'll do a piece on the left, and then I'll put a piece on the right somewhere. And so you wind up with these two very different paintings, but they're so harmonious because I've used the same paint colors on them. I've used the same collage papers on them. I've used the same mixed media tools, like I used um, the Tempera paint sticks to paint some stripes in both of these. They look very different, but they're very compatible and harmonious. So those three ways, are wonderful ways to move your work forward, to bring the pressure down on yourself and just allow yourself to be creative. So here are these um, end products. I was very, very happy with them. I thought they turned out really well and I did them relatively fast. Doesn't always work out that way, but sometimes it does. So here's some mock-ups of how they look framed up individually and together. If you'd like more information about the products that I use, you can uh, look in the link in the description of this video and find my list. And also my class is coming out soon. So that should be on my website. You can find all the information there when it's ready. Thanks for watching. I always love spending time with you.